Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, IT Planet. If this video is helpful to you, then don't forget to hit like button and subscribe the channel, IT Planet. In this video, we are going to see the exercise solution of class 8, chapter 6, e-commerce and blogging. Let's start the video. And in that first question is tick the correct answer. Here are the answers of Take the correct answer. CST is an e-commerce model used by individuals to sell products and services directly to other individuals. An electronic storefront, also called an online catalog. We should enter our personal and financial information through a secure way. Flipkart is an Indian e-commerce company based in Bengaluru, India. A blog is a website having frequently updated collection of information and entries. So these are the answers of tick the correct answer. Then true false. Customers can compare the price of items easily in online shopping. True. Before purchasing online, there is no need of doing research about the about that product. False statement. Online kuch karit kar rahe to pehle hamne uske baare mein research karna jaruri hai. Direct purchase nahi karna. A secure website has HTTPS instead of HTTP in web address. So HTTP hona chahiye aise website se karitna. Yes, this is true. Snapdeal has become one of the largest online marketplace in India. This is true statement. The blog that contains video is sometimes called video blog or vlog. This is true. Then fill in the blanks. The e-commerce that takes place using mobile device is called m-commerce. Online auction is the most popular mode for C2C e-commerce model. C2C means customer to customer. The shopping cart, C-A-R-T. The shopping cart allows the customer to collect the items for purchase. In the web browser, in the web browser, look for a lock icon for security concern. The term blogger refers to the worldwide collection of blogs. Answer is blogger. So these green color words are answers. Next question define the following in that first e-wallet. What is e-wallet? Also called digital wallet. E-wallet allows us to store our credit card and bank account numbers in a secure environment and eliminates the need to enter account information while making payment. Next is net banking. It is a system of banking in which a customer performs transactions electronically without visiting the bank personally. So this is net banking. Next question is differentiate between the following. In that first is business to business and business to consumer. Business to business means B2B and business to customer means consumer means B2C. In a business to business, yani B2B or B2B, e-commerce, the sale or exchange of products and services takes place between firms and companies. And in business to consumer, business to consumer, e-commerce consists of the sale of products or services from business concern to the general public or end users. Then answer in one to two sentences. First question, what do you mean by e-commerce? We have to write the definition of e-commerce. Electronic commerce, yani e-commerce, also known as e-business, is a financial business transaction that occurs over an electronic network. What is e-retailing? E-retail occurs when retailers use the web to sell their products and services. Question number three. What do you mean by blogging? Blogging is a modern and dynamic medium by which we can publish our ideas, opinions and stories online. Friends, please like and share the video and subscribe the channel. Most importantly, subscribe the channel IT Planet.
here on this channel you will get answers of all the exercise solutions of your computer book so don't forget to hit subscribe button next question answer briefly what are the advantages of e-commerce so the advantages of e-commerce for buyers are they have the convenience of shopping at home they can compare the price of items easily they can read reviews of other users before buying the products it enables doorstep delivery of the desired goods and services now the advantages for sellers the web offers low overhead expenses free or low cost marketing activities and potential buyers can be millions of people second question what are the security concerns one should consider while using e-commerce on the website look for https instead of http in the site address and also look for a security icon such as very sign secured in the web browser look for a lock icon in the browser window in some browsers the address bar shows a green background for a secure site so these are the security security concerns one should consider while using e-commerce next question number three is what is a blog write down its uses a blog is a website that consists of a frequently updated collection of information and entries blogs have become become an important means of worldwide communication it uses are first use businesses create blogs to communicate with employees customers and vendors they may post announcements or new information on a corporate blog teachers create blog to collaborate with other teachers management and students home users create blogs to share aspects of their personal lives with family and friends and the last question that is application based question Ria needs to buy some books from a retail website she wants to pay for the books only after the books are delivered by which facility can she pay for the books that she wants to purchase online and the answer is Ria can pay through cash on delivery mode she should use cash on delivery mode so friends don't forget to subscribe the channel and thank you for watching this video have a nice day and bye bye take care